press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students. So today I'm going to engage uh, one more important topic. So which is, uh, comes under organic chemistry that is halo alkanes and halo arenes. Halo alkanes and halo arenes. So why we are going to study the halo alkanes and the halo arenes in organic chemistry? It means that what are the importance of the halo alkanes and the halo arenes? What are the applications of these compounds? So halo alkanes and halo arenes, some halogenated hydrocarbons, these are used as used as solvents, used as solvents for non-polar non-polar compounds used as solvents for non-polar compounds so we know that generally organic compounds are made up of covalent bonds means they are they are generally non-polar so the based on the principle like uh, like dissolves like like dissolves like in solutions now topical heritage like dissolves, like when the compound or when the solvent is correct, non-polar compounds, non-ionic solids or non-ionic crystalline solids, they are soluble in non-polar solvents. And polar or ionic solids are soluble in polar solvents. So relatively less polar or non-polar compounds are soluble in the halogenated hydrocarbons. Therefore, these halogenated hydrocarbons are used as solvents for non-polar compounds. So one application is, it is used as a solvent for non-polar compounds. Then second one is, so we know that in case of hydrocarbons, in case of hydrocarbons, CH bond, CH bond, CH bond is a stronger CH bond is stronger than CX bond. CH bond, in case of hydrocarbons, they are stronger than CX bond. It means that CX bond is weaker than CH bond. And also we know that so there is a very much less difference in the electronegativity values of carbon hydrogen. But the difference in the electronegativity values of carbon and halogen. So halogen is more electronegative than carbon. This difference in electronegativity is high. So that this halogen, it makes an electrophilic center. So by attracting uh, the bonding electrons more towards itself. As a result of which, the electrophilic center is generated on carbon. As a result of which, this electrophilic center it would attract nucleophiles. This results in the formation of many number of compounds. This leads to the formation of many number of compounds. That is why haloalkanes or haloarenes, these are used as, used as starting materials. Starting materials for the, for the, Preparation of some other compounds used as starting materials for preparing for preparing organic compounds, other organic compounds. That means it is an important compound in the synthetic chemistry. Which one? Haloalkanes and halorins, they are the starting compounds for the preparation of many number of organic compounds. Many number of organic compounds. Then third one, chlorine containing, chlorine containing, chlorine containing antibiotic, antibiotic like 
chloram phenicol chloram phenicol chloram phenicol this is used for the treatment of effective drug for the treatment of typhoid typhoid chloram phenicol this is the antibiotic so which contains chlorine this drug which is used as which is used for the treatment of typhoid treatment of typhoid then another synthetic halogen compound the synthetic halogen compound synthetic halogen compound synthetic halogen compound like chloroquine like chloroquine like chloroquine this is used for the treatment of malaria used for the treatment of malaria so this is the chloroquine it is a compound which contains chlorine again this is also the antibiotic uh, drug chlorophenicol it also contains chlorine so it is used for the treatment of typhoid and chloroquine it is used for the treatment of malaria then polyhalogen compounds like halothane poly halogen compound like halothane so the form of halothane is c2 h b or cl f3 this is the polyhalogen compound in ethane c2 h6 so out of six hydrogen atoms five hydrogen atoms are replaced by three fluorine one chlorine and one bromine that compound is polyhalogenated hydrocarbon it is called halothane it is used as used as anesthetic used as anesthetic during surgery during surgery during surgery then completely fluorinated certain organic compounds completely fluorinated fully fluorinated certain organic compounds they are also used as a potential blood substitute in surgery so fluorinated compounds fully fluorinated organic compound certain fully fluorinated organic compounds they are used as a potential substitute for blood in in surgery so that is also the another use then in addition to these applications the haloalkanes haloalkanes are used in the haloalkanes or the halogenated hydrocarbons so particularly in case of uh, uh, polymer industry so vinyl chloride allyl chloride so they are used in the manufacture of polymers vinyl cyanide so like this so in polymer industry also the haloalkanes are used so these are the applications of haloalkanes and haloarenes so first one is haloalkanes are halogenated hydrocarbons used as solvents for non polar compounds this is one use of haloalkane or halogenated hydrocarbons second one is so halogenated hydrocarbons are used as the starting materials for the synthesis of many number of organic compounds these are used as starting materials used as starting materials for the synthesis for the preparation of many number of organic compounds so chlorine containing antibiotic like chloram phenicol it is used for the treatment of typhoid then another synthetic halogen compound like chloroquine this drug is used for the treatment of malaria and also we know that as uh, iodine is uh, uh, produced in our body as uh, so in the form of uh, a hormone like uh, thyroxin thyroxin so the deficiency of thyroxin uh, so Uh, which uh, uh, causes the disease goiter that is also the thyroxin hormone which contains iodine then synthetic uh, so, uh, so not synthetic compound the polyhalogen compound like halothane so this is obtained from ethane 
So C in C two H six, out of six hydrogen atoms, five hydrogen atoms are replaced by three fluorine, one chlorine, and one bromine. So we get halothane. So this is used as anesthetic during surgery. So these are the applications of halogenated hydrocarbons. Then, what are haloalkanes and haloarenes? Now we are studying more today. We this topic and that haloalkanes, haloarenes. But what are the applications? Then, what are haloalkanes and haloarenes, and how are they classified? So, what are haloalkanes and haloarenes? So here, haloalkanes are the halogen derivatives of haloalkanes are the halogen derivatives of alkanes. Haloalkanes. These are the halogen derivatives of. Halogen derivatives. Halogen derivatives of alkenes. Halo alkene. These compounds are obtained from alkenes. So, if you consider methane, in methane, if one of the hydrogen atom of methane is replaced by A halogen. This is methyl halide or halo methane. So halo alkanes are the halogen derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of one or more hydrogen atoms. So in ethane, in ethane. Two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two chlorine atoms. This is also the another example for haloalkane. This is dihaloalkane, dichloroethane. So in general, haloalkanes are the halogen derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of one or more hydrogen atoms of alkanes by halogen atoms. Then what are haloarenes? Haloarenes. What are haloarenes? Arenes means benzene. So if one of the hydrogen atom of benzene is replaced by halogen, is replaced by halogen. This is haloarene. These are the aromatic halogen compounds. These are the aromatic halogen compounds. Halo, it is the prefix. Halo is the prefix used for halogen. Halo is the prefix used for halogen. So, in alkanes, if hydrogen atoms are replaced by halogen, we get halo alkanes. In benzene, in aromatic compounds, in benzene. If one of the hydrogen atom of benzene is replaced by halogen, halo benzene. Or if two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two halogen atoms, these are dihaloarenes. This is mono haloarene. This is mono haloarene. This is dihaloarene in general. Dihaloarenes. In general, haloarenes are the halogen derivatives of benzene. They are formed by the replacement of one or two or three hydrogen atoms of benzene by one or two or three halogen atoms. So that is haloarenes. So next, uh, detail uh, discuss one another. So how are they classified? Classification of Halo alkanes and halo arenes. So, what are halo alkanes? How are they classified? What are halo arenes? How are they classified? So, classification of halo alkanes and halo arenes. Classification of 
haloalkanes and haloarenes classification classification of haloalkanes and halo arenes classification of halo alkanes and halo arenes so halo alkanes and halo arenes are classified on the basis of type of hydrocarbons on the basis of number of halogen atoms present in the molecule of a substance or on the basis of the attachment of halogen atom to the nature of alpha carbon atom or they can also be classified on the basis of the type of hybrid state of carbon into which halogen is bonded so broadly divided into four kinds so first one classification of haloalkanes and haloarenes based on based on the type of hydrocarbons based on the type of hydrocarbons based on the type of hydrocarbons so what are haloalkanes they are the halogen derivatives of alkanes so what are the different types of halogenated hydrocarbons so here first one is aliphatic compounds aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons halogenated hydrocarbons aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons and other one is other one is aromatic aromatic halogenated hydrocarbons halogenated hydrocarbons hydrocarbons so on the basis of type of hydrocarbons haloalkanes and haloarenes these are classified as aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons and aromatic halogenated hydrocarbons in case of aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons first one haloalkanes haloalkanes so what are haloalkanes so the example for this compound is ch3cl chloromethane ch3 ch2 br bromoethane or ethyl bromide i paste names common names and amyl order so these are the examples for so chloropropane chloropentane so chlorohexane like this haloalkanes so haloalkanes are the halogen derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of hydrogen atom of hydrocarbons by halogen atoms they are haloalkanes so which is comes under aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons all alkanes alkanes have open chain structural compounds so open chain structural hydrocarbons are called aliphatic compounds aliphatic compounds aliphatic means open chain structural compounds so what is haloalkane which is comes under aliphatic halogen hydrocarbon second one is haloarene sorry haloalkene haloalkene so what are haloalkanes these are the halogen derivatives of alkanes mono haloalkanes one hydrogen atom of alkane is replaced by halogen that is halo alkene so in this case halo arene uh, sorry now the halo alkene halo alkene halo alkene halo alkenes these are the halogen derivatives of alkenes so for example if we take the homologous series of alkenes ch2 double bond ch2 this is ethene 
it is the first member of the homologous series of alkene. So one hydrogen atom of ethene that is replaced by chlorine. This is an example for haloalkene. In alkene, if one H is replaced by one chlorine or in general one halogen, this is vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride or it is also called chloroethene. Chloroethene or vinyl chloride. So haloalkenes are the halogen derivatives of alkenes obtained by the replacement of one hydrogen atom of alkene by one halogen atom. This is haloalkene. Third one, haloalkyne, haloalkyne. So these are the halogen derivatives of alkynes. In haloalkenes, hydrogen atom of alkene is replaced by halogen, that is haloalkene. In alkenes, if one hydrogen atom is replaced by one halogen, that is haloalkene. Similarly, from alkynes, if one H is replaced by one halogen, that is called haloalkyne. So example is CH, triple bond CH, this is the first member of the alkyne series, that is ethyne or acetylene. So in ethane or acetylene, if one H is replaced by one chlorine, this is called chloroacetylene, 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 or IUPAC name is chloroethyne, it's normal part IUPAC name is chloroethyne, or chloroacetylene. So this is an example for haloalkyne. Then another one is, another one is alicyclic, alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons, alicyclic compounds, alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbon, alicyclic halogenated, halogenated hydrocarbon. So what are alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons? So alicyclic, ali means aliphatic, cyclic means ring-like structures, alicyclic means these are the compounds which possess the ring structure but they behaves as aliphatic compounds. And the ring structure irata other either behavior aliphatic compounds type behavior irata. Hence, these are called alicyclic. Compounds which possess ring-like structures, cyclic structures, but behaves as aliphatic compounds. Behaves as aliphatic compounds, hence they are called alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons. So example is, so this is cyclohexane, cyclohexane. In cyclohexane, if one H is replaced by one chlorine, this is called chlorocyclohexane. Chlorocyclohexane. This compound possesses ring-like structure, but it is not an aromatic compound. So even though it has ring-like structure, but it behaves as an aliphatic compound. So for this reason, this kind of compounds are called alicyclic compounds. Or the compound is this is cyclopentene, cyclopentene. So in cyclopentene, if one H is replaced by one chlorine, this is chlorocyclopentene, chlorocyclopentene. This compound, this is also not aromatic. This compound is also behaves as an aliphatic compound. Hence, these are called alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons. So based on the type of hydrocarbon groups in case of the halogenated hydrocarbons. The, the haloalkenes and haloarenes, they are divided into broadly two kinds, aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons and aromatic halogenated hydrocarbons. So further, aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons are divided into four kinds. One is haloalkene. So haloalkenes are the halogen 
derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of one or two or three hydrogen atoms of alkanes by halogen atoms halo alkanes so this is and uh, this this is the example for mono halo alkane if one hydrogen atom of alkane is replaced by one halogen atom then another kind is halo alkene these are the halogen derivatives of alkenes halo alkanes are the halogen derivatives of alkanes halo alkenes are the halogen derivatives of alkenes obtained by the replacement of one hydrogen atom of alkene by one halogen atom so example is vinyl chloride or it's also called chloroethene it is obtained by substituting instead of one h by one chlorine or by replacement of one hydrogen atom of ethene or ethylene by one chlorine atom this is vinyl chloride so this is the halogen derivative of alkene similarly halo alkyne halo alkyne so these are the halogen derivatives of alkynes halogen derivatives of alkynes these are obtained by the replacement of hydrogen atom of alkyne by halogen atom so example is chloroacetylene so if this cl is replaced by h the name of that compound is acetylene or ethyl so in acetylene if one h is replaced by one chlorine that is chloroacetylene or chloroethyne then fourth one is alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons cyclic compounds which contains halogen in cyclic compounds alicyclic compounds these are the saturated cyclic hydrocarbons alicyclic compounds what are alicyclic hydrocarbons saturated cyclic hydrocarbons are alicyclic hydrocarbons this alice in case of alicyclic hydrocarbons if one or two hydrogen atoms of those compounds are replaced by one or two halogen atoms we get alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons so these compounds possess ring like structures but they behaves as behaves as aliphatic aliphatic means open chain structural compounds so the properties of open chain structural compounds and properties of these compounds are similar that is why the alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons uh, alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons they also comes under the aliphatic halogenated hydrocarbons then second one is aromatic halogenated hydrocarbons so in this case it is divided into two kinds nuclear substituted nuclear substituted halogen nuclear substituted compound nuclear substituted compound and other one is side chain substituted compound side chain substituted side chain substituted compound this so one kind is nuclear substituted halogenated hydrocarbon the side chain substituted halogenated hydrocarbon so what are nuclear substituted compounds these are also called haloarenes haloarenes so or these are also called haloarenes so what are haloarenes so look at this example so in case of benzene if one of the hydrogen atom of benzene is replaced by chlorine so in this compound chlorine is directly bonded with the benzene ring this is nuclear substituted carbon atom of the benzene ring which carries halogen so halogen atom is directly bonded with benzene ring they are called haloarenes or these are also referred as nuclear substituted halogenated hydrocarbons this is chlorobenzene or it's also called phenyl chloride this is chlorobenzene chlorobenzene or or it's also called phenyl chloride phenyl chloride chlorobenzene or phenyl chloride if cl is replaced by bromine that is 
bromobenzene. If Cl is replaced by iodine, iodobenzene. So haloarenes are nuclear substituted halogen hydrocarbons. They are nothing but the compounds in which halogen atom is directly attached to the benzene ring. They are called haloarenes. These are the aromatic halogen compounds in which halogen atom is directly bonded with benzene ring. So these are called nuclear substituted compounds or haloarenes. So what are nuclear substituted halogen hydrocarbons or what are haloarenes? They are the halogen derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons in which halogen atom is directly attached to the benzene ring. In which halogen atom is directly attached to the benzene ring. Then in case of side chain substituted compounds, side chain substituted compounds. So these are also called R-alkyl halides. R-alkyl halide. R means aromatic ring system. R means aromatic ring system. Alkyl and halogen. R-alkyl halides. Example is aromatic group is benzene. So aromatic compound is benzene. R. Alkyl. So if one hydrogen atom of benzene is replaced by one methyl group, this is methyl benzene or is also called toline. Methyl benzene or toline. Ara means this group. Alkyl means this group. R alkyl halide. In the group, substituted group, one hydrogen atom of this group is replaced by one halogen. This is halide. R alkyl halide. These are also the aromatic halogen compounds in which halogen atom is present in the side chain. So what is the difference between these two compounds? Nuclear substituted compounds and side chain substituted compounds. So both are aromatic halogenated hydrocarbons. So in the halo arenes, halogen atom is directly bonded with benzene ring. But in aralkyl halides, these are also the aromatic halogen compounds in which halogen atom is present in the side chain. It is not directly linked with benzene ring. Direct, not directly linked with benzene ring. So the classification of the halogen hydrocarbons based on the type of hydrocarbons. If the compound which contains the open chain structural compounds, then the halogen hydrocarbons are divided into four kinds, haloalkanes, haloalkenes, haloalkynes, and alicyclic halogenated hydrocarbons. So if the compound which possesses the benzene ring-like structures, then they are classified into two kinds, nuclear substituted compounds and side chain substituted compounds. In case of nuclear substituted compounds, these are also called haloarenes. So what are haloarenes? The headline indicates the definition, the definition. Halo, halogen. Arene means benzene. Haloarene means direct benzene ring on the halogen atom attached. That is haloarene. These are the aromatic halogen compounds in which halogen atom is directly bonded with benzene ring. Halogen atom is directly bonded with benzene ring. So another kind is side chain substituted compound. So in, this is also the aromatic halogen compound. But the difference is in haloarenes, halogen is directly bonded with benzene ring. But in side chain substituted compounds, halogen atom is not directly attached to the benzene ring. It is linked to the side chain. It is present in the side chain. So in the in haloarenes, the halogen atom, it is attached to sp2 hybrid state of carbon atom. So because in benzene, all the six carbon atoms are linked by double bonds. The number of double bonded carbon atoms in benzene, six. Three double bonds in drukuda, 
ಆರು ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡಿಗೆ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅರೈಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೈಡ್ ಈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಹೈಬ್ರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅರೈಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೈಡ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಸ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಹೈಬ್ರೈಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರಲ್ ಕೈಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೈಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಆರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರೈಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೈಡ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ತ್ರೀ ಹೈಬ್ರೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ತ್ರೀ ಹೈಬ್ರೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಸೊ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ತ್ರಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಹೆಬಡೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ ದಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಬಡೈಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೈಡ್ ಚೈನ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆರಲ್ ಕೈಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೈಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿನೈಲ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಸೊ ಲುಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿನೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿನೈಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಸಿ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋ ಫಿನೈಲ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಆರ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಇದು ನಾಪಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ರೆ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫಿನೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿನೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸೊ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿನೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಫಿನೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಬೆನ್ಸೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಆಲ್ಕಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋರಿನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನೋಡಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಅಲಿಫ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಲಿಫ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನೇಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋ ಅರಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರಲ್ಕೈಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೈಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋ ಆಲ್ಕೇನ್ಸ್
the haloalkanes and alloy arenes, these are divided into three kinds. So one is monohaloalkanes. 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 These are also called monoalkyl halides. Monoalkyl halides. Mono halo alkanes based on the number of halogen atoms. If halogenated hydrocarbon, which contains only one halogen atom, they are called mono halo alkanes. If it contains only one, only one halogen atom, or if it contains the one halogen atom is directly attached to the benzene ring that is called mono halo arenes mono halo arenes mono halo aren so for example ch3 cl this is methyl chloride this is methyl chloride methyl chloride methyl chloride or cs3 CH2Br, this is ethyl bromide or bromoethane. So these compounds, it contains only one halogen atom. That is why it is called monohaloalkane. So, and also in benzene, if one hydrogen atom is replaced by one bromine, this is called bromobenzene. Bromo benzene. So if Br is replaced by chlorine, chlorobenzene. Br is replaced by iodine, iodobenzene. So the halogenated hydrocarbons, which contains only one halogen, they are called monohalogenated hydrocarbons. Monohalogenated hydrocarbons in general, both are haloalkanes and haloarenes. So what are monohaloalkanes? They are the halogen derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of one hydrogen atom of alkane by one halogen atom. In methane, if one hydrogen atom is replaced by one chlorine, we get monohaloalkane, that is methyl chloride or chloromethane. Or if one of the hydrogen atom of ethane is replaced by one bromine to form bromoethane, it contains only one halogen atom, hence it is referred as monohaloalkane. Similarly, in case of monohaloarenes, so these are the aromatic halogen compounds in which only one halogen atom is directly attached to the benzene ring. Directly attached to the benzene ring. Or another one, aralkyl halide. Aralkyl halide. C6H5, C6H5, CS2Cl. This also comes under monohalogenated hydrocarbon monohaloarenes are in general in general monohalogenated aromatic hydrocarbons monohalogenated monohalogenated aromatic aromatic hydrocarbons so which includes both haloarenes and aralkyl halides aryl halides and aralkyl halides this is Aryl halide or haloarene. This is R alkyl halide. So both the compounds which contains single halogen. So therefore, monohalogenated hydrocarbons. Then second one, <coughs> dihalo, dihalogen, derivatives of hydrocarbons, dihaloalkanes, dihaloalkanes or Dihalogen derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons. Dihalogen derivatives. Derivatives of dihalogen derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons. Aromatic hydrocarbons. This is the second classification. So what are what are Monohaloalkanes, they are the halogen derivatives of alkanes 
obtained by the replacement of one hydrogen atom of alkene by one halogen atom. What are monohalogenated aromatic hydrocarbons? They are the aromatic halogenated hydrocarbons in which, in which one of the hydrogen atom of aromatic hydrocarbon is replaced by halogen atom. So whether it may be either aryl halide or aralkyl halide. So if in benzene, if one H is replaced by bromine to form bromobenzene, or if one H is replaced by one halogen, that is monohalobenzene. But in case of toluene, so if this Cl is replaced by H, this is a toluene. This also aromatic hydrocarbon. So it contains one side chain that is methyl group attached to the benzene ring. So in this side chain, if one hydrogen is replaced by one halogen atom, so it may be either iodide, bromine, bromine iodine, or chlorine. This is benzyl halide. This is also comes under monohalogenated aromatic hydrocarbons. Then, what are dihaloalkanes? Dihaloalkanes. One the hydrogen badalage alkanes alle one the halogen substitute maadi thare. Ille dihaloalkanes. So example. CH3, CH3, this is ethane, ethane. In ethane, if two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two chlorine atoms, two chlorine atoms, two hydrogen atoms of ethane are replaced by two chlorine atoms. So in this compound, two chlorine atoms are attached to the same carbon. Two chlorine atoms are attached to same carbon. So this kind of, in general, these are called gem dihalides. These are called gem dihalides. These are gem dihalides or geminal dihalides. So the name of this compound is 1,1 dichloroethane. Or in general, these are called, this type of dihalogen derivative of ethane, it is called ethylidine, ethylidine chloride, ethylidine chloride. Then another compound is CH2Cl bond, CH2Cl. So its name is 1,1 dichloroethane. So, now you face names, common names, So, in this case, two hydrogen atoms of same carbon replaced by two same kind of halogen atoms. That is 1,1 one, one dichloroethane. So, if two same kind of halogen atoms are attached to same carbon atom in dihaloalkanes, they are called gem dihalides or geminal dihalides. If two halogen atoms are attached to the adjacent carbon atoms, are attached to the adjacent carbon atoms. They are called vizinal, vizinal dihalides. Vizinal dihalides. So what are vizinal dihalides? So in case of geminal dihalides, geminal dihalides, if two same kind of halogen atoms are attached to same carbon, same carbon, in general, they are called alkylidine halides. Now, the general comment button, alkylidine halides. Here it is, 1,1 dichloroethane or ethylidine chloride. So here, this compound is obtained by the replacement of two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two chlorine atoms. In this case, here also, this compound is also formed by the replacement of two hydrogen atoms of ethane by two chlorine atoms. This is also dichloroethane, this is also dichloroethane. But in this compound, two chlorine atoms are attached to the same carbon. But in this compound, two chlorine atoms are attached to adjacent carbon atoms in dihaloalkanes. Such type of dihaloalkanes are called vizinal dihalides. So the name of this compound is 1,2, 1,2 
dichloroethane or in general these are called so it is ethylene ethylene dichloride ethylene dichloride ethylene dichloride this is ethylene chloride this is ethylene dichloride so next the definitions are malali bartana generally helpful so based on the number of halogen atoms if the halogenated hydrocarbon which contains only one halogen atom that is mono halogenated hydrocarbon whether it may be either mono halo alkane or mono halo mono halogen derivative of aromatic hydrocarbons so if two hydrogen atom of alkanes are replaced by two halogen atoms they are called dihalo alkanes what are dihalo alkanes they are the halogen derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of two hydrogen atoms of alkanes by two halogen atoms two hydrogen atoms of alkanes are replaced by two halogen atoms they are called dihalo alkanes similarly in case of dihalogen derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons so another example is this is benzene this is benzene so in this compound if two chlorine atoms are attached to the adjacent carbon atoms but in this case there is no possibility of uh, the geminal dihalides only visinal dihalide is observed in this case since in benzene each carbon atom which carries one hydrogen so therefore from the uh, adjacent positions two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two chlorine atoms so this is called ortho dichlorobenzene or 12 dichlorobenzene this is ortho dichlorobenzene ortho dichlorobenzene or 12 dichlorobenzene or so if you take the another compound so say for example this kind of compound so here this is toline toline if two hydrogen atoms of this toline are replaced by two chlorine atoms this is comes under geminal dihalides this is called benzol chloride benzol chloride this is ortho dichlorobenzene nuclear substituted dihalogen derivative of benzene ortho dichlorobenzene this is geminal dihalide because two halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon so which are present in the side chain this is benzol chloride benzol chloride is an example for geminal dihalide ortho dichlorobenzene is an example for visinal dihalides so what are dihalo alkanes they are the halogen derivatives of alkanes obtained by the replacement of two hydrogen atoms of alkanes by two halogen atoms and two same kind of halogen atoms are attached to same carbon then such type of dihalo alkanes are called geminal dihalides if two same kind of halogen atoms are attached to adjacent carbon atoms they are called visinal dihalides the second kind based on the number of halogen atoms the halogenated hydrocarbons are divided into three kinds one is mono halo alkane dihalo alkane and third one is poly halo alkanes poly halo alkanes so what are poly halo alkanes third kind is poly halo alkane third one poly halo alkanes so what are poly halo alkanes or poly halo arenes the halogenated hydrocarbons which are formed by the replacement of three or more hydrogen atoms of alkanes by three or more halogen atoms so the best example for this compound is chcl3 in methane in methane if three hydrogen atoms of methane are replaced by chlorine three chlorine atoms this is trichloromethane of chloroform 
chloroform. Chloroform is an example for polyhaloalkane. Similarly form, so CHBr3, it is bromoform, bromoform. Or if Br is replaced by iodine, iodoform, CHI3, it is iodoform, iodoform. Or if you take CH2Cl, bond CHCl, bond CH2Cl. So, one, two, three. Propane, one, two, three. So, so one, two, three, trichloropropane. Propane, one, two, three, trichloride. So, it is so trihalogen derivative of propane. So, one, comma, two, comma, three, trichloropropane. 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 Are you patient is? 1 comma 2 comma 3 trichloropropane. So our propane trichloride. Propane trichloride in general. So or if the halo arenes, the aromatic halogen compounds in which three hydrogen atoms are replaced by three halogen atoms. So in this case, this is ortho dichlorobenzene so in ortho dichlorobenzene if one more hydrogen atom is replaced by one chlorine this is 1 2 3 1 2 3 trichlorobenzene this is also an example for polyhalogenated aromatic hydrocarbons so the overall conclusion is based on the number of halogen atoms present in a molecule of the substance Halogenated hydrocarbons are divided into three kinds: monohaloalkanes or monohaloarenes, dihaloalkanes or dihaloarenes, polyhaloalkanes or polyhaloarenes. So, based on the number of halogen atoms present in a molecule of the substance, so monohaloalkanes these are formed by the replacement of one hydrogen atom of alkane by one halogen atom. So they are called monohaloalkanes. <coughs> In case of dihaloalkanes, <coughs> it is of two types. If two hydrogen atoms of alkanes are replaced by two halogen atoms. In such compounds, if two halogen atoms are attached to same carbon atom, so they are called geminal dihalides. So what are geminal dihalides? They are the dihaloalkanes in which two same kind of halogen atoms. Illi. <coughs> in case any other, yarado bear bear halogen atoms any other, one day carbon ka tacha kitdare. So they are not geminal dihalides. If two same kind of halogen atoms are attached to same carbon, the complete part will kalatare. 